Having explored GoPro Studio and created your very own video project, it's now time to export and create the final video file. If you're not at this point just yet, take a look at earlier videos in the series to get up to speed. I've left links in the description box below. For now, let's get exporting. With the project complete, it's a good idea to play back through the entire project and make sure everything is just the way you want it. Once confirmed, hit the export button on the top bar. Here we can give the project a name and choose a save location. Several presets are available, allowing the creation of a full 1080p HD project or a project suited to YouTube, Vimeo or for mobile use. The file size will change depending upon the option chosen, since a video played back on a mobile device does not need the same high quality as a video being played back on a computer screen for instance. Alternatively, choose custom to create your own output settings going up to a full 4K resolution, as well as your output frame rate and encoding choice. For this example, I'll stick with the most common preset, YouTube. Once selected, hit export and let the software compile and render your project. The time taken will depend upon the size and complexity of your project, as well as the speed of your computer. Nevertheless, once complete, you'll have a single video file ready for uploading to social media or sharing among family and friends. Congratulations on making it through the GoPro Studio Beginner's Guide. You should now be able to create basic video projects with relative ease. Stay tuned as we continue to look into more advanced options in future videos. For now, get creative.